All right, I uh, I got this 2008 uh, Kawasaki KFX 450R. Um, I had some trouble getting it running and whatnot, but like so far from what I've been able to determine is I've been having some really hard like like bad starting problems with it. Like I I've obviously done a lot of research and like obviously it's a common thing and everything. But, uh, I, uh, I have no clue how to test that, like, TPS sensor, the throttle position sensor. Like, I know which wires it is and everything, but, <clears throat> like, it doesn't look like I can adjust that to me. Like, it doesn't look like it moves or anything. It looks like it's in a fixed position, unless there's just, like, too much dirt on it, but that's what it looks like to me. They say that you can adjust it to, like, point... 62 or whatever fucking volts ohms whatever whatever it's supposed to be but um uh, i uh it doesn't look like that thing's gonna move and like i i don't feel like fucking with it and fucking it up any more than it already is but i have figured out like since i've had it apart multiple times and put it back together and like trying to figure some shit out and like clean some stuff up and dicking with things <clears throat> that uh it has that little People, people are calling it a choke. It's more like a fucking, like a high idle type thing. But uh, I don't know if you can see up in there that little knob right there. You can, uh, you can like adjust the the idle with it. But yeah, see my even my throttle position sensor. That thing looks like it's just a screw that goes in there or a bolt, whatever, with a fucking torx torx head on it. It doesn't look like that thing moves me at all. It looks like it's just straight hole. But, uh, yeah, anyways, you can either pull this knob out and it'll give it, like, a really high idle, which is one way that I've been kind of starting it, and, like, it seems to start every single time when I have it pulled out, and obviously idle is high. But, uh, I was dicking with it, turning it left and right, trying to adjust the, like, kind of like the low and the high idle, and, um, I think I might have to crank it up a little bit, but, uh, it seems to be starting almost every time even when it's dead cold, but, uh, it seemed like when I messed with this for the throttle, this one right here, that it was really having some, like, weird effects to everything, and, like, I could see how, like, both of them, like, not being, like, I guess, in sequence together, if you want to call it that, would, would cause some issues, but... I'm not quite sure. I got some pretty high octane gas in it. I think I have like 93 in it or something like that. So like, I thought maybe it was just like I had some like shitty old gas in it. But like, I filled it up with some brand new fuel and I cleaned off my spark plug and like because I figured it wasn't getting enough spark. But I was gonna try to test the to see if uh, what my fucking compression was. But I don't have the right thing in there like for for the spark plug the the fucking the right threads, but, um, it seems like to me that after I've kind of fucked with the throttle up there and then that down there that I've been having better starting, but there are the times when it doesn't want to start until like the third time or so, but it, it is starting a lot better. And like, I didn't even know this thing was fucking even on there until like I took everything apart and I was like, man, there has to be something fuck, fucked up here because I'm having some real real starting issues, and, um, uh, I started dicking with that thing, and sure enough, it started, <laughs> but, uh, and, like, I was, figured out that I could adjust some shit, but I don't know if I can adjust this, this fucking throttle position sensor or not, it doesn't look like it's adjustable to me at all, it just looks, it looks fixed, like it's in a fixed position, it might fucking move maybe a little bit, I don't know. But I'm not going to fucking loosen it and knock it out of whack. <laughs> right off the bat. I'm going to try to dick with this some more and see see how things go. But I definitely have had some really shitty starting problems with this fucking thing. It runs fucking great. But uh, I don't know if maybe my fucking valves need shimmed or some, some shit like that. But... Everything, everything looks and sounds okay for the most part, but 
just that fucking starting issue. I don't know. Maybe if somebody would want to chime in and uh, has a fucking idea, because like it was so bad before. Like it was, I was killing the fucking battery trying to uh, trying to start the motherfucker. And uh, if I'd have known that I had that fucking button down there, it would have probably with the high idle type thing. People want to call it a choke. What the fuck ever. It's not a choke because it's not carbureted. But, you know, it's... <clears throat> has the effects of a choke for the most part. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my fucking fuel pump's kind of weak. Something like that. But I know when it's running, it fucking all haul ass and get down. So, I don't know. It would be nice to not have to fucking take it somewhere. You would think fuel injected it should pop off and run like a fucking animal every time that's the why why i got it because it was fuel injected and then <laughs> i have i have fucking carbureted one probably starts starts better than this fucking thing so <laughs> i don't know what the deal is but if anyone has a great fucking solution for me that would be fantastic before i have to take it to the kawasaki fucking dealership for them to do nothing and just charge me fucking out the ass for 